Hey guys and girls, this is Twist with YYC Designs Custom RC Creations. Thank you for joining us. You are watching Ubi. And as you can see, we are making Ubi out of aluminum. 20 gauge galvanized aluminum. The galvanizing will get sanded off because Ubi is going to get painted, so no worry about the galvanizing. Anyway, here just squaring up my uh, piece of sheet metal and making sure I got lots of nice straight edges to work with so that I don't make any goofs. <laughs> Ubi will be 11 inches long, actually just shy of 11 inches long, and again he'll be just shy of 8 inches wide, and he will be 4.5 inches tall. Decided to go for aluminum this time just to do something a little bit different from the ordinary. You guys have seen me do a lot of steel work and a lot of welding. And I thought this might be a nice change of pace. And it'll make a nice light 110 scale crawler for Tams. As Ubi is Tams, named after her grands, her deceased grands. Yorkie Terrier Ubi, who was just a cute little guy when he was around, and so she decided she wanted something to remember him by. Anyway, just marking her up and getting her all lined up here to get the uh, wagon part of the body. Now this will also encompass the, the, well this will be the roof that will also encompass the left and right door on the cab portion the roof uh, is uh, covers from the cab from the windshield all the way to the back a lot like today's SUVs as you know this is a 56 Willis wagon 4x4 replica so yeah two door and just double checking my measurements here before I put in the body bends I'm going to put in the curves of the roof on the sides and that way when I go to add the sides onto it I have something to attach to. So yeah a little bit of body work. I'm also going to be uh, forming in the panel stiffening ridges and that'll give the panel some strength. I do explain more about that here towards the end of the video. My videos ended up a little bit repetitive on the end section and I do apologize now for that but that's what I'm doing now is putting in the panel stiffening ridges and they are a necessary application even on RC's that are metal as well as the one-to-one -one scale world I just happened to find a nice little split in my workbench there between my piece of steel that happened to work out perfect for these ridges on this roof so hey you use what's available to you so that's what I did and it worked out really really well also inside Ubi I am putting a metal cage not really a cage it's sort of a frame it's 1 8 steel rod Yes, I know, there's that word again, steel, on an aluminum vehicle, but it is nice light stuff. Here you can see me getting ready to form it. Now, the curves in Ubi's roof on the left and right sides are not a 90 degree square. On the Willis wagon, they actually sort of roll over. And I, actually, I found that a 25 cent coin is about the exact size of the curves on the roof panel so that's what I'm forming here now using my angle finder of course to give it a seven degree slope on the left and right sides because it is not a 90 degree angle like you might think it is it's actually a very tiny seven degree slope and where I got lucky is the curve on my angle finder also happens to match the curve in Ubi's roof. So not only do I get lucky and I get the angle, I also get the curve I need. But I'm using this steel frame just to give the body that extra bit of rigidity and strength 
that all crawlers need in case she rolls over and you know just general day-to-day -day wear and tear on it it gives the uh, the body some strength after all it is only 20 gauge aluminum it's quite easy to dent without some sort of cage inside the body literally would just crush under the right circumstances I mean you you wouldn't have to put a whole lot of weight on it and the body would just crush and why put all this work into a vehicle to have a body that will crush as easily as a soda can right so that's why the frame inside it's not really a roll cage but it will function as one as well it's just it's not very beefy steel rod to be using for a roll cage it's actually pretty pretty thin stuff but it will suit the purposes that I want it for and it will give the body good rigidity and make it nice and stiff as well as I'm going to frame out the doors and uh, the what do they call it the hatch on the back the hatch and the tailgate with it so here we are got it all formed up and shaped and there is the curves in the roof that I was talking about on the left and right side there so as you can see not a 90 degree square bend nice rolling curve and that's why I was making the frames the way they were so here's a look at Ubi's roof it's it's not quite finished for um, doing all the metal work on it of course and it is obviously unrealistically high it's because I did not chop off the uh, the legs of the metal frame inside yeah so but basically it gives you an idea so the metal the steel frame inside the roll cage rolls alongside rolls along the back and goes across the front and there will be a cross an X through the center and that way she will have a roll cage it is a galvanized aluminum body that we're putting on Ubi and so yeah should keep her nice and light for a 10th scale crawler and of course we have the um, stiffening ridges that were that I put into the roof this helps keep the roof nice and stiff and that way you don't get any wobble around yeah and it doesn't bounce and we call it in the auto body industry we call it oil canning and that's when you hear a panel that I don't know if you can quite hear that actually let's see it'll sound more like this it'll sound kind of like this I hope you got the sound of that. I know the the picture wasn't anything to look at, but the sound. So when you dry crawling through the trails and all that, you don't want to hear that. So we put the stiffening ridges into each panel to keep it from making that noise on these nice long panels. As you notice, it, when you watch the the Voodoo project, I also did that with the steel on Voodoo's roof as well and it is to keep the panel from oil canning making a bunch of rackets so it's a nice quiet vehicle and it doesn't sound like a hunk of junk on the trails so yeah so here's Ubi's roof and uh, part of his interior roll cage so here's a photo of the roof with a few of the braces added to it and some more work to come yet obviously but that'll come in time and I also started on his hood today so I added in a few photos of what the hood looks like at present still some more work to do on it but you get the idea so this has been twist with YYC designs custom RC creations want to thank you very much for watching the video hope you enjoyed it we'll catch you in the next one y'all take care now bye bye